Nations attend before God's throne with solemn fear, with sacred joy. Know that our God is God alone, who can create and can destroy. Good morning. Welcome to the Daily Office. I'm so glad you could join me. This is morning prayer for Friday, May the 17th, and the scripture for this service, Psalm 102, and Ezekiel chapter 34, verse 17 to 31. Open my lips, my mouth shall declare your praise. Alleluia, hear my prayer, O God, and let my cry come before you. Alleluia. Psalm 102. Alleluia, hear my prayer, O God, and let my cry come before you. Hide not your face from me when I am in trouble. Incline your ear to hear me and answer me quickly. For my days are consumed like smoke, and my bones are burned like coal in a hearth. My heart is smitten and withered like grass so that I forget to eat my bread. Because of my groaning, my bones cling to my skin. I am like a pelican in the wilderness. I am like an owl of the desert. I lie awake and watch. I am like a lonely sparrow on the housetop. My enemies reproach me all day long, and they that are hate me are sworn against me. For I have eaten ashes for bread, and mingled my drink with my tears. Because of your indignation and your wrath, you have lifted me up and cast me down. My days are like a shadow that fades. I am withered like the grass. But you, O God, shall endure forever, and your remembrance to all generations. For you shall rise and have mercy upon Zion. Now is the time to favor her. For your servants take pleasure in her stones, and even love her very dust. So the heathen shall fear your name, and all the rulers of the earth your glory, when you shall build up Zion and appear in your glory. You will regard the prayer of the destitute. You will not despise their plea. This shall be written for the generations to come, so that the people yet unborn may praise you. For you have looked down from the height of your sanctuary. From heaven you behold the earth to hear the groaning of the prisoner and to free those that are condemned to death. To declare your name in Zion and your praise in Jerusalem when the people are gathered together and the nations to serve you. You weakened my strength on the way and shortened my days. O oh my God, do not take me in the midst of my days. Your years endure throughout all generations. In the beginning, you laid the foundations of the world, and the heavens are the work of your hands. They shall perish, but you shall endure. All of them shall wear out like a garment. As clothing, you change them, and they shall be changed. But you are the same, and your years have no end. The children of your servants shall continue, and their children shall be established before you. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. Hear my prayer, O God, and let my cry come before you. Alleluia. The lesson is from the prophet Ezekiel, chapter 34, beginning at verse 17. As for you, my flock, thus says the Most High God, I shall judge between sheep and sheep, between rams and goats. It is not enough for you to feed on the good pasture, but you must tread down with your feet, the, must you tread down with your feet the rest of your pasture? When you drink of clear water, must you foul the rest with your feet? And must my sheep eat what you have trodden with your feet and drink what you have fouled with your feet? Therefore, thus says the Most High God to them, 
I myself will judge between the fat sheep and the lean sheep, because you pushed with flank and shoulder and butted at all the weak animals with your horns until you scattered them far and wide. I will save my flock, and they shall no longer be ravaged, and I will judge between sheep and sheep. I will set up over them one shepherd, my servant David, and he shall feed them, he shall feed them and be their shepherd. And I, the Most High, will be their God, and my servant David shall be prince among them. I, the Most High, have spoken. I will make with them a covenant of peace and banish wild animals from the land, so that they may live in the wild and sleep in the woods securely. I will make them, and in the region around my hill, a blessing. And I will send down the showers in their season. They shall be showers of blessing. The trees of the field shall yield their fruit, and the earth shall yield its increase. They shall be secure on their soil, and they shall know that I am the Most High God when I break the bars of their yoke and save them from the hands of those who enslaved them. They shall no more be plunder for the nations, nor shall the animals of the land devour them. They shall live in safety, and no one shall make them afraid. I will provide for them a splendid vegetation, so that they shall no more be consumed with hunger in the land, and no longer suffer the insults of the nations. They shall know that I, Yahweh, the Most High, their God, am with them, and that they, the house of Israel, are my people, says the Most High God. You are my sheep, the sheep of my pasture, and I am your God, says the Lord Yahweh. Here ends the lesson. Now let us offer our prayers and petitions. In peace we pray to you, for the Mercy of God community, for the Sisters of St. Francis of Philadelphia, for all people in their daily life and work, our families and friends and neighbors, and for those who live alone. For this community, this nation, and the whole world, for all who work for justice, freedom, and peace. For the just and the proper use of your creation, for the victims of hunger, fear, injustice, and oppression. For all who are in danger, sorrow, or any kind of trouble, for those who minister to the sick, the friendless, and the needy. For peace in Jerusalem and unity in the church, for all who proclaim the gospel and all who seek the truth. For all of the leaders in the church, and for all clergy and ministers, and for all who serve God in the church. For the special needs and concerns of this congregation, we pray for the sick, especially Carol and Melissa and Carol. And we pray for the caregivers, Mary Ann and Deb, Melody, Anne and Bill. We pray for the missing, especially James. We thank you, O God, for all the blessings of this life. We exalt you, O God, our King, and praise your name forever and ever. We pray for all who died, especially Howard, that they may have a place in your eternal kingdom. Let your loving kindness be upon them who put their trust in you. We pray to you also for the forgiveness of our sins that God who's begun this ministry may bring it to fulfillment. For the intentions of all who've asked our prayers and for all of your intentions. Our beloved which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Let us pray. 
unchanging and ever-living God, we praise you for your resplendent glory. Hear our prayers and grant our petitions. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. We trust in the mercy of God forever. And glory to God whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to God from generation to generation in the church and in Christ Jesus, now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. <laughs>